Shifting gears now to the presidential race, former uh, President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris entering the last 100 days of a fast moving campaign season. Polls starting to capture the new statistics after President Joe Biden announced he's leaving the race. A Democratic vice presidential pick and convention could further shake up the 2024 campaign before Election Day. Rob Kirkpatrick has the details about the upcoming plans for Trump and Harris. The final sprint for the White House is now underway as Donald Trump and Kamala Harris enter 100 days until the presidential election. We have a new candidate to defeat the most incompetent, unpopular and far left vice president in American history. Let us be clear on it. We have a fight ahead of us. The political landscape shifted dramatically when President Joe Biden announced he is not seeking re-election. In the seven days since, Harris has united and energized the Democratic Party. Her campaign announced she's already raised a staggering $200 million. And polls show the race tightening between her and the former president as both head to critical swing states this week. Both Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, are ramping up the attacks on Harris. She's a radical left lunatic. She has no clue. She's evil. Maybe the worst and most dishonest thing that Kamala Harris has done. She helped cover up Joe Biden's declining mental capacity for years. One question still remains, who will be Kamala Harris's running mate? One name mentioned is Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who criticized Trump's record. He broke his promise for that kind of economic growth. Uh, he broke uh, his promise to pass an infrastructure bill, right? He said he would do that. He failed to do it. Other candidates include North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. Former Attorney General Eric Holder is leading the vetting process as the Democratic Convention begins in just three weeks. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting.